out from the reaction we got from Foose. You know, it's different with these platforms, with fans, uh, with YouTube, you have real loyal fans, with TikTok, not so much, and you're gonna see that a lot tonight. We are live, and can I tell you, you know, there was a, I always tell the fighter series based on the eye contact, and Siraj wasn't making a whole lot of eye contact, so. That makes me nervous for him here, but great movement so far. I do like the way he's moving, tons of head movement, in and out. And Ryan Johnson told us in the fighter meetings that he has ran, run into, oh, oh big shot, oh, oh, big shot from Kale Siraj. Cowboy Kale with that <laughs> over punch, oh, wow. Siraj seems extremely confident, but he does need to keep his hands up. Well, Ryan Johnson told us that he thought Kale Siraj looked very scared in the hotel. Said that he walked away from him every time they would confront each other in the hotel lobby. I heard that too, but we're not seeing it right now. Johnson. Oh, big oh, left big. hand. That's a check left hook, beautiful. Coming with an uppercut. I can see a little bit of wear and tear already on Siraj's nose. Well, they're both smiling. They both clearly are very comfortable. And I'll be honest, I'm a little surprised at how comfortable they do look here in this first round. Yeah, it's looking good, but Cal's just, Cal's looking oh, serious. Good, oh my man, right? goodness. And that's that, when you're inside the pocket, you need to be throwing. You need to be either moving your head or you need to be throwing your hands. That's where it's a really dangerous just to be in the pocket without any movement. Two big right hands so far for Kale Siraj, and he's starting to feel himself a little bit. He's known for his dancing, moving around, and now he's really starting to do that. That's his go-to. I mean, he's been looking for it all night. We've seen him connect with two, and he sits back, and he's just trying to set that up over and over. I would really like if Johnson would put a little bit more combos together. He's coming in, he's capitalizing with one punch here and there, but if he could put a few combos together, his hands are faster than Siraj's. Remember, it's only two-minute rounds here for five rounds in each of the seven fights scheduled for tonight. Two here in this first hour, free to all of our viewers, and then our pay-per-view top of the hour live. Pretty good first round, guys. I love that action. Honestly, that was extremely impressive. Both of them came out with an aggressive pace, but they didn't get too ahead of themselves, right? They didn't get too aggressive to where they're putting themselves completely out of position. Yeah, honestly, you know, I was expecting defense, defense, defense in this first round. That is not what we see. Good corner work, getting that mouthpiece out. Guys, drink some more. It's okay. Wash your mouth out. All right, so that's the Ryan Johnston. Let's look at some of the action from early on. How about the big right hand from Johnston and then Siraj right back? Absolutely, and see that final cross is the one that mattered. There was a few punches that landed, but the, the shot that landed was that final right. Here we got a good hook that landed. Well, you're, you, so here is the other big straight right, straight right from Kale Siraj. That was nice. So we're going to have Fusi be kind of our uh, ringside unofficial scorer throughout the evening. And I'd be interested to see how he scored that first round. Fusi, how'd you score that? You know what, guys? I gave that round to Kale at a 10-9. I think Ryan started out as the aggressor, but Kale just was more active throughout that round. We'll see what happens going into round two. Thank you, Foose. Yeah, I can agree with that. You know what? And, and it is too, yeah, the punches have to land, but they have to ma matter, right? They need to be effective shots that actually cause damage. And I do see more damaging shots out of Siraj thus far. But if Johnson could throw his hands, he is the faster fighter. Okay, okay. Beautiful combo. Good back and forth from both Johnston and Siraj. Johnston in the white trunks and Siraj in the red. When Cal gets in trouble, it seems like he turns into a tornado and just starts throwing anything. <laughs> and that's the thing is Johnson, he does look like the more composed fighter here, but Siraj is landing. He's coming in with haymakers like a tornado and he's the one actually landing shots that are counting. Now he's on the ropes, he's in trouble, let's see. Siraj is throwing some of his punches with ill intentions, Paige. Absolutely, all of his punches are coming with ill intentions. I can see that he's almost looked a little scared on part of it, 
it, but he, he's coming forward and you're swinging. Well, he's doing the classic close your eyes and pray method that we see so many times from amateur fighters. And that's what this is, right? It's like the amateur level show. You, you get to have a full, exciting fight of cards because it's not quite as technical, but they're putting their heart and soul out there so you know that you're going to have a lot of action. Do you ever see that work, though? Close your eyes and swing for the fences? <laughs> rarely. Rarely. Game, yes. Rarely does that work. Beautiful Big shot there. jab there. There's our 10 seconds. Another oh, boom, beautiful big jab. straight right from Kale Siraj. He made Johnson pay for that one. What's that? <laughs> Kale Siraj says, what's that? What's that? Well, that was a hit after the bell is exactly what that was. As you can see, this uh, crowd still filing into Hard Rock Stadium. Paige Van Zandt keeps star. I am the coach. Fosse also with us here at ringside. Charlemagne the God. We've got the TikTok locker rooms and YouTube locker rooms covered as well. Let's listen into the corner. Get him in the corner and you keep him. We worked on that. Okay? You want some water? Get on the first one. All right, let's take a look at some of the action there from that second round. Paige, what'd you see? Loved this early flurry. You know, I do feel like Johnson, he looks like the more composed fighter. His punches are coming a little bit straighter. He has a little better head movement. But Johnson, I mean, Siraj is coming. I feel like a lot, well, well other than that, his punches are landing with a little bit more brute force. And Kale awesome. came. Ooh. He's had three big shots like that so far in the fight. It's unreal. He just sits back and he waits and he waits and he waits. And as soon as he gets in a little trouble, he unloads that. Get back, get back, get back. All right, we're about set for round three. And I'll be brutally honest with you. I've been pleasantly surprised at the action we've seen thus far between these two in our opening contest. Same, you know, I'm loving the action. There's a few, of course, technical things I wish that we could change. I think we'd see a little more exciting. But Johnson, if he could just not lean his head backward every time he punches, right? He's leaning his head backwards, and he's not able to get that forward momentum. That's not utilizing his reach. If he could lean forward and use his reach, he would be landing all these beautiful quick shots that he's throwing. And we just saw Cal sticking out his tongue, putting his gloves up, dancing a little bit. Oh! Oh, good back and forth. Beautiful Look at the exchange. eyes. Look at the eyes from Ryan Johnston. <laughs> See, when you back your opponent up into the corner like this. Oh, big right hands. Beautiful shot. There is no reason to wait. Go. Your opponent's in the corner. Unload. A minute gone here in this third round, and the action continues to pick up between Kale Siraz and Ryan Johnston. Now both of these fighters are kind of looking for that big money shot, right? They're looking for the power punch, but you gotta set those up. If we could see four or five punch combos out of these guys, they're throwing with heat. They could end this game. Big right hand from Johnston. But Kale fires back. <laughs> and Kale saying, what is this? I do not need this eight count. All right, our first eight count of the night, but we continue on. Absolutely. With, with it pretty much being, I would say, an equal fight, that eight count would give Johnston the upper hand in this round. I don't know about you guys, but it looks like Cal is getting a little gassed out. Ryan still looks composed. Thoughts? He Paige, still looks fresh. Paige, when you start to get tired, that's when you start to throw those big haymakers, right? Because that's all you have. And that's when you can tell a fighter who has been training, who has been doing the road work, putting in the gym work, they can put combos together. It's not that just throw and pray method, right? Where you're throwing one punch, hope it lands. You got to set your punches up a little bit. And, and truly better cardio can give you a, an advantage in that. You bring up a great point because Ryan Johnson, did exactly what you just said. Let's take a look at the action from the third round. And this is really key when Johnson started to take over. Yeah, uh, I mean, just one right after another. He has control here. And Cal's just trying to get out of trouble with those haymakers. And he doesn't quite Awesome quit. jab right there. Uppercut following. 
cross to follow. Beautiful combo. I like those combos when you put them together. All right, here we go. Round four of a possible five. Fusi, how are you scoring this one so far? Wow, man, this one is really picking up. I have to give that one to Ryan. He really took over in the second half of that round. I thought Kale was controlling the tempo of the fight, but it seems like Ryan is beginning to find his groove. So, Fusi, the unofficial. Time, time. Oh, we had a fighter Judge forget the their mouthpiece. Siraj was nice <laughs> enough to point it out. <laughs> I tell you, it looks like Ryan is, you know, the better boxer and looking better so far, but Cal Simon. is so entertaining to watch. He really is. I think that's why I was, I was so turned on to his training videos that he was uh, posting repeatedly, telling the world what he was going to do. <laughs> Still to come here tonight, our main event, Austin McBroom, YouTube superstar. Price all big right hands from Ryan Johnston. You might think if you're watching at home that YouTubers and TikTokers can't really dislike each other. But, Keem, some of these fighters tonight really do not like each uh, other. They hate each other. And it's not just this. It will be settled in the ring tonight. There will be trash talk afterwards. It might go on for years with some of these two. Oh, beautiful. Wow. How is he standing after that? Johnson Unbelievable. able to absorb. And Kale Siraj just gave him props. He was like, good hit. We got some blood coming out of Johnson. No, so. a tough kid for sure. He's smiling over the corner, bleeding. Ryan's bleeding. This is turning into a bloodbath. I love it. He just said to the ref, I'm tough. And he, the referee says, I know you're tough. These boys better be tough because they're in a boxing match right now. And there is energy here at ringside very, very quickly. Ryan Johnston looking to finish off Kale Siraj. Oh! Oh, it's Siraj saved by violence and we're, we're getting it. I hope every fight is like this. This has been amazing out of the gate. And clearly Ryan Johnston won that round. So if Fusi's scorecard is accurate, then we've got a 2-2 fight heading into the fifth round, which is exactly what we want. Let's look at Johnston had that big fourth round. Ooh, that right. Perfect right. Now, if he could put his feet underneath him and not be charging forward, that's a knockout punch. Look at the combo. Awesome jab. Here it comes. Big swing and a miss. Capitalize. <laughs> Amazing head Second movement, right? That, that shows right there. He trained his head Second movement. Back. Duck underneath. Ooh. Make him pay. And Ryan Johnston is absolutely laser focused, especially here in this third and fourth round. Here we go. The fifth and deciding round, we believe. It's 2-2 two, two at this point. And talk about Ryan being focused when we were watching these replays. It looks like lasers are coming out of his eye. I mean, he is really focused. Still to come later tonight, DJ Khaled will be here. Migos will be here. Little babies in the house. Now these two guys both, oh! wow, fighting with emotion. They're both putting themselves a little out of position, right? Because they're throwing so aggressively. They both want to finish this fight. Kale, rule number one, never turn your back to your opponent. No. That is rule number one in the gym. <laughs> Do not turn your back. <laughs> oh, another big right hand. Is Johnson's got blood coming out of his nose. Oh, Some right big hand. right. Ryan's waiting for it. Waiting for it. Can he do it now? He's got to get out of that corner. Really starting to tee off on Kale Sarah. Oh! Looking up at the clock. And the referee says that's it. He said that's enough. Well, you got to hand it to Kale. I mean, amazing as they hug each other, celebrate the effort that went into this. What a fight. I love that, right? You know, after they just shared a moment together, that's what 
people tell, they ask me all the time, why am I a professional fighter? Why do I go in there and fight? Well, it's special. It's something you just went out there and fought your heart out with another opponent. And yeah, you hug it out at the end because you shared something that nobody else can ever share that moment with you. Ryan Johnston told us he would be calmer. He would be.